Hello and welcome back to 100 Coding Challenges in C Sharp. This is episode 5. This episode is called F to C. The challenge in this episode is to write a program to input a temperature in Fahrenheit and then output the equivalent temperature in centigrade. To make this a little bit easier, I've given the formula to do this. Temperatures can be converted from Fahrenheit to centigrade using the following formula, where F is a temperature in Fahrenheit and C is a temperature in centigrade. For bonus points, modify the output to display the temperature to two decimal places. If you'd like to give this a go yourself, then now would be the time to hit that pause button. Okay, so let's begin. We're going to start off by asking the user to input the temperature in Fahrenheit. So. Height. And then we want to read this back from the user. This time I'm going to use an integer from the get go. So I'm going to say int f equals, I'm going to do the convert straight off the bat to int32 and then we can do a console dot read line within here. Cool. So we can actually take the formula almost straight as it is and put it into our code. So if we say int c for centigrade or celsius, um, we'll do 5 times f take away 32 divided by 9. And that should give us our temperature in centigrade. Now we can output this back to the user. And there we go. So if I were to enter in a temperature of 189, that should give me the result back. In centigrade, this temperature would be 87. Okay, so if you try to do the bonus exercise, stay tuned as we'll be doing that right now. So last time I showed you guys to, how to use a uh, float. Um, however, this time we're going to be using a double instead. And the difference between a double and a float is that um, a double can actually hold larger numbers and is more precise. However, it can be costly to the performance of the application. So use it wisely. So here, instead of doing to in 32, we're going to do straight to double. Um, this will give you a squiggly because this is no longer an integer. So if we change that variable to a double, we'll now have the double version of this. And if we run that, we can see that it will give us a result. However, this is not what we want because we want it to two decimal places. So in order to have it to two decimal places, what we'll do is we'll do C to two decimals. <laughs> okay, we'll go with that. Um, so math.round. This is a C-sharp function that you can use and we'll pass in C and also pass in the parameter for the amount of decimals that we want, which is two. And that should give us the temperature to two decimal places. So now if we output this, with the temperature in Fahrenheit, if we do 189, we can see that it's given it to us with two decimal places. And there you go, another nice, sweet and simple exercise so as always if you enjoyed this video then make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this the challenges will be starting to pick up now and get a little bit more interesting so make sure to stick around and i'll catch you in the next one